Are you wondering what's the best mouse for Fortnite this year? If so, stay tuned because by the end of this short video, you'll know exactly which one to choose. Hey guys, it's 7 Top Rated, and in today's video, we're going to check out the 5 best mice for Fortnite on the market. This list was made based on our personal views, and are listed based on price, quality, durability, and more. To see prices and get more info about the product shown, be sure to check out the description below. One last thing before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest product reviews from the channel. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the Logitech G600 MMO Gaming Mouse. The ideal choice for players hoping to up their keybinding game, the Logitech G600 is a budget option that offers 20 programmable buttons and is built to work for Fortnite and all your gaming needs. Design-wise, the G600 is shaped for a natural contoured grip and maximum comfort. Every button is carefully positioned to reduce click fatigue while avoiding accidental actuation. The G600 includes three primary buttons, 12 thumb buttons, a clickable scroll wheel that tilts, and a G-switch to double down and dominate. The low-friction polytetrafluoroethylene feet eliminate friction on nearly any surface for smoother motions, precise cursor movements, and improved accuracy. Looking at performance, the G600 uses a gaming-grade laser sensor that develops precision at any hand speed and tracks across a wide range of surfaces to register even the most subtle hand movements. In addition, the on-the-fly DPI shifting lets you toggle between two sensitivity settings with a click, from pixel-precise 250 DPI targeting to blazing-fast 8200 DPI maneuvering. Use G-Hub to customize the DPI settings to fit your style of play. Furthermore, we like that you can program up to three profiles with custom DPI settings to fit your favorite games and save them right on board so that when you take the G600 with you, your profile settings will go with too. Moving on, using the G-Shift button to double the total number of customizable functions. In its default setting, holding the G-Shift button down activates a second function to each G key, or set G-Shift to temporary change DPI for extra cursor precision. Additionally, with Logitech G-Hub, you can choose from approximately 16.8 million colors and assign a unique color to each profile, profile mode, and mode style in the same game. Make colors pulse on and off or cycle continuously. To conclude, the Logitech G600 gaming mouse proves that cheaper accessories serve just as well. What's more, at the end of the day, you still have a few dollars to spare to spend on a swanky new outfit for your Fortnite character. From our view, you won't be disappointed. At number 4 is the Razer Death Adder Elite Gaming Mouse. If there were such a thing as gaming mouse royalty, then Razer's Death Adder would be king of the realm. This mouse has seen it all from epic victories on the world's largest esports stages to the humble beginnings of a new gaming career. From a design aspect, the Death Adder Elite has a comfortable ergonomic design and is finished with a matte black coating and looking rather classy and sleek. The mouse itself features two side buttons, two DPI buttons, and a textured gaming-grade scroll wheel with improved grip, along with seven independent programmable switches, and weighs 96 grams, which is still below the magical 100 grams mark. In addition, the scroll wheel has little textured spikes that are supposed to increase grip, and they do just that. The side buttons offer a very crisp and tactile response. Let's talk about performance. The Razer mechanical mouse switches are designed to have optimal response times for gaming, as well as a lifespan up to 50 million clicks when compared to regular Omron switches. We must say that the buttons feel great. Furthermore, Razer uses their own version of the 3389 sensors in the Death Adder Elite. This goes all the way up to 16,000 DPI. We don't actually know who games at those DPI settings, but as we all know, the 3389 is a flawless sensor so you can expect nothing less than perfection from this sensor. Additionally, one thing to note is that to get the best out of this mouse, you need to install Razer's Synapse software. That's not really a big deal. Also, Razer software also gives the ability to create macros, calibrate the sensor of the mouse in order to work ideally with whatever surface you're using it on, and even the ability to charge the RGB lights. To conclude, the Razer Death Adder Elite is certainly gaming mouse royalty. Whether or not it's going to be the absolute king is going to depend on your personal preferences. However, if you like the shape and features of this elite mouse, it's almost impossible to go wrong with a new iteration of Razer's most famous mouse. And it's one we would recommend. At number 3 is the SteelSeries Rival 600 Gaming Mouse. 
While most gaming mice process liftoff distance from a single primary sensor, the SteelSeries Rival 600 deploys state-of-the-art dedicated depth sensor to achieve the world's lowest and most accurate liftoff distance. Design-wise, the SteelSeries Rival 600 is made with what is described as a soft black touch with silicone side grips. Every aspect is designed to meet players' stringent demands for comfort. Whether you deploy a claw grip or palm grip, the shape provides perfect comfort for long and intense Fortnite sessions. Moreover, the mouse has three side buttons in addition to the usual left-right click and scroll wheel. It's a more focused setup we liked, and the more straightforward layout also makes room for larger buttons overall. In addition, the sides are removable on the Rival 600, revealing the extensive customizable weight system. Out of the box, this mouse weighs 96 grams. That's standard for a gaming mouse. With the optional set of 8 extra 4-gram metal bits and extra 32 grams in total, you can bring the total weight up to 128 grams. As for performance, TrueMove 3 sensor offers a maximum sensitivity of 12,000 counts per inch or CPI and one-to-one -one tracking at up to 3,500 CPI. With the added liftoff accuracy of the second sensor, this mouse will never miss a beat. In addition, the Rival 600 introduces true RGB spectrum lighting. With eight zones of lighting, you can not only have this mouse cycle through multiple colors, but display a rainbow of hues at the same time. And we're happy to say the lighting is so well diffused, the quality of RGB is on par with that of Razer's peripherals. Moreover, the SteelSeries engine software unlocks an impressive armory of engine apps that make customization of the 8-zone RGB lighting easy and intuitive. Overall, for professional FPS gamers or anyone aspiring to that level, the Rival 600 is a great choice. Likewise, for folks who play shooter games competitively, whether they're competing for cash or just for fun, the Rival 600 should serve admirably and won't disappoint. At number 2 is the Logitech G502 Hero Gaming Mouse. Logitech G502 has been a market leader since it was released back in 2014, and now Logitech has updated it with the new Hero 16K sensor. Design-wise, the build is made from matte black plastic for the primary buttons and grips, and puts glossy plastic between the mouse's aesthetically different sections and on the extra buttons. The scroll wheel is shiny, metallic, and neatly notched. A button just behind the scroll wheel toggles the notch scrolling, and it's a real pleasure to use with pronounced clicks. In addition, the G502 Hero features customizable RGB lighting for the DPI indicators with the Logitech logo, and compartment on the bottom opens to allow the addition of up to 5 3.6 gram weights that can give the G502 Hero a nice heft. On to performance, the G502 Hero features a 1000 Hz polling rate and 1 millisecond response time as expected from a pro gaming mouse, and we hardly noticed any shortcomings in this department when in the heat of the battle. The Hero sensor offers flawless tracking and supports a DPI range from 100 to 16,000, though we find the upper limit mostly unimportant. And thanks to tracking at max speeds over 400 inches per second and max accelerations over 40 Gs, it'll be hard to push this mouse past its limits. Furthermore, the switches underneath the buttons feel great, giving a responsive click with minimal actuation force. There's enough resistance to keep us from misclicking while resting our finger on the buttons, but none feel too squishy. It's worth mentioning that the Logitech's customization software is relatively easy to use and highly advised for a mouse with this many buttons. To make the most of the G502 Hero, you need to have a plan for all the buttons. Overall, for the brilliant performance this Logitech G502 Hero Mouse gives and the incredible flexibility provided by all its buttons and weight customization, we give it a solid thumbs up. At number 1 is the SteelSeries Sensei 310. The Sensei 310 is an ambidextrous gaming mouse that SteelSeries hopes will win over professional gamers. It's remarkably lightweight, comfortable to use, and most importantly, it performs excellently across all games and applications. Design-wise, the materials create a solid yet feather-like physique, with the focus clearly geared toward weight reduction. The Sensei 310 weighs a mere 92 grams and has an illuminated Steel Series logo on the front and an RGB scroll wheel resting between the left and right clicks. In addition, each side of the mouse curves inwards and uses ultra-durable pure silicone side grips. There are two buttons on each side of the body that can be reassigned from the default backwards and forwards configuration if so desired. 
With the additional side buttons, the Sensei 310 can transform into a left-handed gaming mouse anytime you want, which is great for left-handed users. Moving on. When it comes to tracking performance, the Sensei 310 is as good as it gets. Sharing the same 12,000 DPI sensor as the Rival 310 results in the same class-leading performance. Its smooth and elegant glide mirrors your intentions to a T. Additionally, the SteelSeries Sensei 310 comes with two zones of illumination, which are the scroll wheel area and the SteelSeries logo. You can choose from 16.8 million RGB colors to light up the illumination zones, and you can mesmerize the surrounding people with four different color animations, which are steady, color shift, multicolor breathe, and trigger. Plus, the good thing about the profiles is that you can save them to the onboard memory of Sensei 310 to carry around with you. Without the need for a software, you can easily access your predetermined profile, and this way you can present all those pretty lights to your fellow LAN party buddies. To conclude, if you're looking to upgrade to a better quality of mouse and want to bypass the entry-level products, then the SteelSeries Sensei 310 makes an excellent choice, and one we're sure will help you win more games. Thanks for watching the video, we hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Catch you soon.